In this video, we'll show how to burn CDs directly from Mixcraft. If the project is one song and you just want to burn it as a single song CD, you can go to the File menu and select Burn CD. You can also get to this window by clicking on the little CD shortcut icon over here. And here we have some options to choose from. Where it says Writer, this just lets you choose which drive in your computer you'll be using. So in this case, my CD burner is drive E, so I don't really have any other options, but if you had multiple CD burners in your computer, this would let you choose which one to burn with. And over here you can select the burn speed, and you can leave this on fastest. The only reason to change it is if you run into problems with CDs not burning correctly. Test mode allows you to simulate a CD burn, but these days that's usually not necessary because CD burners and CDR media are a lot more reliable than they used to be. Convert to WAV first outputs the project as a WAV file prior to burning the CD, but this is really only necessary if you have a really slow computer, so odds are you won't need it. Create CD text lets you name your CD, so when you put it in a computer, it'll show up with a title at the bottom of it, and also some CD players will display the name as well. The name will be the name of your project by default, but if you highlight the field, you can type something else. Burn as one track is only really relevant if you've got multiple markers in a project, so in this case it won't matter, but we'll talk more about this later on. Down here you have one more option where it says All and Current Selection. This allows you to burn only a section of a project, and here's how you do it. I hit cancel and I highlight a region. You can now burn just the highlighted region and when I go back into here you can see that now I'm able to select this. But if you want to burn the entire project just hit all and hit start burn. And then you press continue and that burns the CD. Mixcraft also lets you burn a CD with multiple tracks and here I've created a project that has three separate songs in it. The beginning of each track is set by using markers, so we're going to place markers at the beginning of each one. By default, there's already a marker at the top of the song called Start. And you can see that right here. And since the name of the marker is going to be the name of the track, I've moved the carrot over so you can see the Start marker a little better. And I'm going to click on the Marker flag to rename the marker. And usually you're going to want to check this checkbox here. It says Create Track for CDs or Audio Files, but this is going to default to On because it's the very first one. So I'll hit OK. And then I'll go over here to the beginning of the next song. And make sure that your snap setting over here is set to off. This way you can place your marker anywhere you want. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to double click up here and make a marker. And name it. And then over here we'll check the create track for CDs or audio files box. And then I'll hit OK. And then I'll go over to the beginning of the third song and create another marker by double clicking up here and check the create track for CDs or audio files box and I'm going to zoom back out. Okay so here are my three songs and then I'll click the burn audio CD shortcut up here and now Mixcraft will ask if I want to save the changes to the project and I'll say yes. Now earlier I touched on the burn as one track box and what this means is on some older CD burners you might run into problems because it doesn't like the markers but this is very unlikely to be an issue with any current day CD burner so usually you can leave this unchecked. Now you can see we've got the three tracks right here, and you'll want to put a blank CDR in your CD burner. And once you're ready to burn, hit the Start Burn button. Hit the Continue button, and the CD burning process begins.